Hello, hello, hello. Today is the 20th of March, 2023, and the old calendar on the wall said it's been a couple of weeks since we last heard from Norm Winsky, and time is up. Norm, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jeff. When I was last on your show on Wednesday, February 15th, I gave you three cycle points. I'm going to review those now. They, they should be on the screen. And the first one was Wednesday, the 15th, in the afternoon. Mercury was happy healing. Mercury is an 88-day cycle. The planets go around the sun elliptically. That means that they are not in a circle. So there's a point where they are the farthest and the nearest. Happy healing is the farthest point in a cycle and from the sun. And that's what Mercury was doing that afternoon. And anytime we have Mercury, we look at the grains. Now, the stocks tend to respond potentially to all these points, okay? The commodities are narrow filters. All the other markets are narrow filters. Uh, the weekend of the 17th was a three-day weekend, and we had a, a point to the U.S. chart. That's based on where the plants were when the country was founded on July 4th, 1776. We'll be looking at stocks, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and the U.S. dollar. Also, over that weekend, we had a new moon in the sign of Pisces, at perigee that doesn't happen very often that only new moon at perigee only perigee is when the moon is closest to the earth and at a new moon only lines up about every 14 months that's uh, we, then we look anytime we have a new moon full moon we look at financials grains precious metals and oil so now we're going to look at the charts here we had two points for the grains and there's the corn and the corn made a little short-term low there on the 15th and then rally to the Monday, the Tuesday, Monday was closed, Tuesday the 21st, and then being a very nice top there, and we had a big down. And here's soybeans did something similar, and made a low there on the 15th, and then rally to the 21st, and then topped on the next day, then we had a big down. Here's the wheat, not so good, had a down, went sideways, kind of lower to the sideways, so you did not have a chance to make money, so that's a red arrow for a miss. Green is good, red is bad, and yellow means we did nothing. That's It's going sideways into the moon, so we did nothing there. Here's the oil, went down into the moon, and the next day it made a low, and then we went up, up, up. Uh, silver rallied into the moon on the 21st, made a top there, and then down. Gold was going sideways, so we did nothing. The S&P rallied into the uh, 15th there, the Mercury Happy Helium, and then made a top there, and then went down. But it, on our two points over the 17th weekend, it did not reverse. It kept going lower, so that's a minus two for two misses. Here's the bonds rallied into the moon for two points there. And then it topped out there and went down. And here's the dollar pulled back into the moon and then went up, up, up. Here's the Aussie dollar bounced up into the moon and for a short term high. And a nice down. And here's your British pound made a top there on the 21st and then down. And here's your euro rallied into the moon on the 21st and then down. Here's a Japanese yen, just went sideways. So if you add up the green arrows and red arrows, there's 14 winners, three misses out of 17 for 82.35%. Here's what's coming up. Tomorrow, we, the, in just a few minutes, we're doing this at about 5 o'clock on Monday, Eastern Time. And in about a half an hour, it will be spring in the Northern Hemisphere and fall in the uh, Southern Hemisphere. It's the uh, <laughs> equinox, equinox, that's it. And then it's uh, well, anytime we have a, a, a couple of cycles converging, that's usually pretty important. By the way, Gan uh, was very, uh, very keen on the uh, annual equinox, you know. So we have a new moon tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon, within 24 hours of the equinox. And so anytime we have a new moon, we're going to be looking at financials, grains, precious metals, and of course, the stocks are included in all this. And then, oh, then that afternoon, after the close tomorrow, we have Uranus to the U.S. chart. Again, that's stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. 
and then the, here's something really, really big of the afternoon of the 23rd. Pluto, which is a 248 year cycle, will be changing signs. If you divide the 248 by 12, you get the average of about 20 years. It stays in a sign, so it's going to change signs, and that may affect cattle, cotton, uh, cocoa. Uh, co copper is the top one because of course it has to do with copper corn these are all secondary ones but it's a huge cycle so you gotta watch it anyway cotton gold hogs sugar tea bonds and wheat so that's the things to watch here over the next several days and by the way if you uh, get over the terminology you gotta learn about 30 40 new terms once you get past that, nothing's over a fifth grade level here. I keep everything very simple. No no advanced formulas, nothing uh, nothing over grade school math and so forth. Here's a, I for, do a line forecast for the mark for the stock market uh, for this actually for the S&P for Feb for every month a couple weeks in advance of the month. This was for February. I began my publication month of February on the 6th of February and ran through the 3rd of March. There's the blue forecast line, and then at the end of the month, I will relay the actual S&P 10-minute bars on top. And you see that worked out fairly well, except for the very last day there, where the train went off the tracks for the last day. All right, now we're moving ahead here now. And if you don't know me, I've been doing this a long time. I started investing in college using astrology, and I was very successful, and so much so, I ended up buying a membership on the, the fledgling Chicago Board Options Exchange in 1975, and I was on their floor there trading, and I own, own account for 12 years. I also did a stint on the Chicago Board of Trade, and I've studied all this stuff, Gann, Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, astrophysics, music, cycles, all that stuff. And so I'm looking forward to helping some of your folks. Jeff, they can get a hold of me here in beautiful Naples, Florida at 239-216-2578 or you can email me in Winsky at yahoo.com or call me for free anywhere in the world if you have Skype and W-I-N-S-K-I underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks. Have a great week. Thanks for having me on, Jeff. Okay, I hope people realize those aren't the same uh, those aren't the same addresses and phone numbers you've had in the past. So uh, I just think it's important to point months. that out. Norm, 80 plus months. percent, month after month, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, and we'll see you back in a couple of weeks. Okay, thanks a lot, Jeff.